Hey, good evening. <laughs> good evening, everyone. All right. How good evening. Good evening, everyone. How's everyone? How are you, Jeremy? Pretty good. What about you, Jeff? How are you today? Well, nice. well I'm excited. You know? uh, for two excited. things, we have, a, yeah, we have a special guest tonight. Uh, we have a special show. It's Thursday. We normally do it on Wednesdays, Fridays, and uh, Sundays, uh, but uh, it's special tonight. And uh, well, we just finished our two-day PowerPoint for teachers, no? And uh, it was very successful. Maraming natuwa. We were 38 in the class, so wonderful, no? So yeah, how are you? Have you had your dinner already, Jeremy? Oh yeah, I had a really quick dinner so that I Great. won't collapse during this uh, live show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah, a quick dinner, dinner, no? Oh, well, you know, uh, to everyone watching right now, do hit the share button or start a watch party, no? Um, oh, tonight, yeah. our topic, Jeremy, is on uh, using Think Alouds to develop comprehension, no? This is very good for um, teachers from uh, kinder to grade six, grade seven, ganyan. So we'll get, we'll get uh, tips from our guest tonight. No? Uh, right. Bago natin siya papasukin dito, basa muna tayo ng konting uh, comments. No? Good evening muna tayo kay, uh, kay uh, Julie. Julie, good evening sa'yo. Alright. Si Ave or Ave, good evening. Of course, si Doan. Good evening. Ganda ng sounds natin. Yes. Oh. <laughs> good evening, Joan. Yes. Alright. Uh, good evening, Deverly. Yay. And good evening, si uh, Miss Flores. Good evening, si Miss Rivas. Yes, good evening sa and Miss Pandera. Okay, so konting intro lang about our um, about our guest tonight, no? She's a friend from uh, uh, high school, no? She's a high school friend, and uh, now she's an educator. Uh, and uh, what else, pa ba? She was formerly a UP Open University facilitator. So marami tayong makukuhan tips sa kanya on uh, remote learning, as well as a, uh, what do you call this, ang master's degree niya is on uh, reading. Marami na yata akong nasabi, or literacy. Mas maganda marinig pa natin yung iba sa kanya, no? So, uh, anyway, without uh, further ado, uh, papasukin na natin, ano, ang ating uh, special guest uh, tonight, Miss uh, Ann Tan Choi. Hello, Ann. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. Hello. Good yes, good evening sa'yo, Ann. How are you? Uh, hope you're doing fine there, no? Uh, kamusta naman? So, I'm, ano bang mga kakabisihan mo lately? Ano, ayan, yan ang magandang tanong. Uh, we yes. recently moved to the province, right? So, uh, yes. of course, your viewers don't know me from Adam. So, galing po kami <laughs> Manila, we moved to the province, and um, now, of course, we have a bigger space here. So, ang pinaka-recent naming libangan ay gardening. We've been wow, growing... Wow. Yes, we've been growing fruits and vegetables, and we've been harvesting them and eating them. Yeah! <laughs> wonderful. I, I, I like that idea, no? You eat what you grow, no? That's wonderful. Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, tapos yung, yung pala, no? Uh, the husband of Anne is also my barkada from high school, no? We're a very close barkada. So please say uh, regards to uh, our friend, Mike. Yeah, or and your husband, Mike. <laughs> So, uh, yes, Ann, uh, do tell us something about yourself. Uh, ano bang ginagawa mo? Nag, 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 nakapagbigay na ako ng intro kanina. Maybe there are other things you'd like uh, uh, the viewers to know about you. So, you've mentioned already that I used to teach at the UP Open University and I've been teaching there for about 10 years na. Um, wow. Mostly uh, literacy education courses, no? Um, I just stopped because I gave, uh, two years ago, I gave birth to my last, hopefully my last child, <laughs> Ikatlo. Um, and um, I'm actually planning to go back to uh, teaching again at the UP Open University when the school year starts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Aside from that, I am also recently into homeschooling. So because of our transfer to the province, um, We've taken the opportunity to try out homeschooling. Oh, okay. And how how's the experience so far? Um, I mean, I mean, is it easy for someone, an educator like 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 you, na may experience as a kids? Exactly. You know, that's what you'd expect, and that's what I expected. <laughs> also, de ba? Para 
I've been teaching kids. I because I I was also a preschool teacher before, so I've been yes. teaching for the longest time. But really, when you're teaching your your own kids, may may may, <laughs> may personal and emotional element involved. That's not that's not normally seen when you're dealing with your students. Because I think you are you're more understanding and you're kinder when you're dealing with yes. students in your class. Pero pag yung Correct. para pag yung mga anak mo parang unang una bakit uh-huh. hindi mo alam yan tinuro ko din sa iyo parang ganun <laughs> parang mas may frustration to, yes oh oh you tend to take things more personally i think that's one of the challenges that um that i've faced um natong first year namin of homeschooling tapos the, ano there were a lot of struggles at first so may mga times may mga iyakan blues talaga kami as in umiiyak sila or umiiyak ako sa frustration but um yun ha, end of the school year, happy na sila. <laughs> end of school year na, no? Actually, yeah. hindi ka naman nag-iisip yeah. dyan, no? Nag- nakapag-adjust na sila. It's ah, okay, okay, I see. My, 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 my wife is also like that, no? Si Ingrid, you know, preschool teacher din siya and uh, naging elementary teacher. So, nung uh, siya na yung nag-aalaga sa, nagtuturo sa mga anak niya, napunta na sa akin. <laughs> Ako na yung nag-tutor. <laughs> Well, although right now, my kids don't go to tutor anymore. I just test ko na lang sila. But, but anyway, I, I understand the, the, the feeling and the experience. No? Talagang hindi siya madali, especially pag uh, kids mo nga siya. So anyway, and I, I mean, I'm curious. Ano? Um, um, you, you went into um, education. Um, what, what, what made you decide to get, get that course? No? And yung, ano yung master's mo, tama ba? Um, reading and literacy? Sorry? It's called Reading Education. Uh, Reading it's Education. The, uh, yeah, it's offered in the UP College of Education. Um, so why did I take up? Yes, uh, yes. Oh, or why did you take up education in the first place, no? Okay. So my actually, my bachelor's degree, my undergrad was psych. Tapos, um, ah, okay. I just tried, uh, I, parang fresh out of uh, university, I just parang tried a teaching job. I tried to get into teaching preschool and I really enjoyed it. But I felt that um, parang what I learned in psychology as, a, as an undergrad wasn't, um, didn't equip me enough to, to teach. So I wanted to learn more about teaching, learn more about the educational theories, Kenyan. So I decided, and my favorite subject really for the longest time, batang bata pa lang ako, mahilig na ako magbasa. So, Social studies? I, no. Mm. <laughs> Reading. So talagang it's reading. natural for me to um, take up reading education. Since ah, it was, okay. Since I really love reading. And I really wanted to bring more kids into reading. Because parang yun yung, ano mo, yun yung key mo or gateway mo for all the other subjects. Even ah, math. Interesting. Diba? Tama, tama, no? Parang every, everything begins with reading, you know? So yung, yung, yung uh, pagkuha uh, ng knowledge, uh, reading. Do you, do you agree, Jeremy? Oh yeah, reader? definitely. I'm uh yeah, I I well, read a lot. Okay. <laughs> nice, ah. <laughs> parang nagu parang nagulat ka sa tanong tanong ko. You know, ah. anyway, oh, okay. Yeah, we okay. Book, yeah. So yeah, we we like to read a lot. <laughs> All right, that's that's wonderful. That was I don't know. Um, uh, well, I I asked you kanina off camera. Um, are are there any teachers na very um that really inspire Inspired you to to be better, or I mean, sino sila? What, what did you learn from them? Well, top of mind um, is my parang thesis advisor, and she became the okay. youth for DepEd, uh, youth, the undersecretary for curriculum and education, uh, instruction in DepEd. Uh, her name's ano, Dina Ocampo. So ah, of she, course, the Dina Ocampo. Yes, mm-hmm. parang prof ko palang siya. She was ano na, she was parang displaying a brilliant mind talaga ganyan tapos um i also got to work with her um in depth ed tapos, talaga wow amazing the way the way her mind works the way she makes connections the way she the way even also she relates with other people no parang yun galing niya and, and what, what did you do in depth ed tell tell us more about uh, the things you you did before 
So, um, I, uh, ang tawag sa position namin was uh, technical assistant there. So, we okay. gave technical assistance to the people in the bureau. So, if you're familiar with DepEd, meron silang iba't ibang bureaus, diba? They have Bureau of uh, Curriculum and Bureau of yes. Learning Delivery, Bureau uh -huh. of Resources, something like that. So, ako, I work mostly with the people at the Bureau of Learning Delivery. So, sila yung okay. mga... We help them create policies or write policies. We help them create training programs. And um, we help also oh, parang oversee or um, manage some of the different projects that come into, come into the department. Para meron bang ano, so that all the projects are streamlined. Kasi uh, we have different donor organizations coming in, di ba? May, may iba-iba silang yes. agenda or may iba-iba silang gusto. So yes. ang gusto natin, syempre, parang hindi na madodouble yung effort. So, kung may gumagawa na nito, how will you connect your project to that para hindi Correct. na sayang or hindi na wasted yung resources and efforts? Something like that. I see. Parang uh, very technical in nature. Kaya nga technical assistant, no? So, yun, no? Tapos, uh, eto, I have a question about uh, yung upcoming demo and upcoming class mo, Anne, no? Uh, kasi Anne is going to uh, have a... A webinar, no? Live webinar called uh, the title is uh, "Using Think Aloud to Develop Comprehend Reading Comprehension." Uh, tell us more about the idea, no? Behind this and the research. So, and maybe how how teachers will uh, benefit from uh, this. Okay, so "Using Think Aloud" is just one of the many strategies to develop reading comprehension. But first, we talk about reading comprehension. What is reading comprehension, right? Um, yes. Reading comprehension is the cornerstone of reading. Without comprehension, you're not really reading. You're uh, merely yes. uh, sounding out the words or sounding out the letters, di ba? So, yun yung ano natin. Uh, reading is not reading without comprehension. Unfortunately, okay. comprehension is something that happens inside our brain or inside our mind. It's a mental process, di ba? We don't, uh, we don't exactly see how how readers uh, read or how what goes on in their minds as they are reading. So, kaya okay. lumabas yung Think Aloud protocol. Ang um, Think Aloud protocol, it's actually a research protocol as well as a teaching strategy to help um, poor readers become better readers. So, ginawa nila tong research tool to understand okay. how do good readers read and how do poor readers read? How come good readers can understand and how come poor readers can't understand? So, ginawa okay. nila, nag-research nag, ano sila, nag sila na parang, ano-ano ba ang ginagawa ng good readers? Can you tell us? Can you think aloud as you are reading? What's going through your mind? What questions are you asking? What are your thought processes while you are reading? So, yun. Yun yung, gina, yun yung parang inaral nila lahat ng mga verbatim na sinasabi ng mga good readers while they are reading. Nag-think aloud sila, di ba? Tapos, kinompare yeah. nila ito sa mga poor readers. Ano-ano naman ang iniisip ninyo? Hindi, siyempre, you don't call them poor readers, no? Basically, basta, alam mo na mahina yung comprehension nila. But you also ask them, uh, but you also ask them, um, what were you thinking or what are you thinking while you're reading? Can you tell us about it? Tapos nakita nila, there's a stark difference between how good readers and poor readers read. Parang okay. hindi, it's a, it's a metacognitive process, kumbaga. Metacognition is something like thinking about thinking. How, how do you exactly know that you are understanding what you're reading. Okay, so yun yung, interesting. So, yun yung malabas sa good readers. Parang naiintindihan nila, ay, parang itong sentence na to, I have to read this again because I don't understand it. Ay, this yes. word reminds me of something. Maybe uh, this word means like this or ganun. So, lumalabas yung mga iba't ibang strategies that good readers use when they are reading as compared to poor readers who don't really think about or think aloud while they are reading, parang hindi, they're just, you know, they're just They're just reading. reading. Uh, uh, reading. Right, like sounding it out without really thinking about what they're reading. So yun yung yeah. main difference between uh, poor readers and good readers. And now, Interesting. Um, that's that's the research part of the Think Aloud, no? So mm -hmm. now, nag-isip yung mga teachers, paano natin tutulungan yung mga poor readers para maging better readers sila? So to, okay. you also use the Think Aloud strategy, actually, to help Poor readers become better readers. How? Diba? As like, uh, like we said, um, it's all happening inside. Diba? Na hindi yes. natin nakikita. 
So yung teachers, sila ngayon ang magiging models or de they will demonstrate good think aloud protocols or good think aloud strategies. Tapos makikita nice. yun ng mga ano, ah, ganun pala yung nangyayari while you're reading. And then they try it out. They try out. I mean, you guide them into doing the think aloud process. And then later, uh, hopefully, they will learn to apply it on their own. Independent practice. Parang All so, right. Uh, and Jeff, I uh, hope you don't mind yes. if I could share how exactly is this strategy in use? Uh, at the simplest uh, example that you could give us. For example, so I'm having... Now, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, for example, I'm having a hard time understanding this uh, whole sentence. sentence. Yeah. How would, how would uh, think aloud uh, strategy help me out? So there are various, um, we call it fix-up strategies to help um, readers make sense of what they're reading. No? But the key point there is you understand that you don't know or, or that you're not understanding. Naintindihan mo? Yung awareness okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's the first step in um, battling your comprehension problem. In the parang alam mo, aware ka, hey, I didn't understand this sentence. What Now, what can I do to understand this sentence? Maybe I should reread it. Maybe I should look at some of the keywords here that would give me a context, a better context. Or maybe if I read forward a few more sentences, I would be able to understand this again. So I can read forward and then go back to reading it again. So these are just some of the strategies that we can use um, to help us understand mm -hmm. what we are reading. So yung mga ganong model, ituturo mo yun sa studyante mo. You are explicitly telling them na, hmm, parang medyo malabo itong sentence na ito. Ano-ano kaya, um, siguro um, magbabasa, babasahin ko dito itong sentence na ito. Tingnan ko kung mas maintindihan ko pa siya. Ganun, ganun. Ganun ka-explicit mo na sasabihin. It's something that a teacher needs to practice because it's something that we don't normally do. Di ba pang nagbabasa tayo? We don't yeah. talk to ourselves. But um, exactly. through practice or by, by actually preparing a script, a think aloud, um, make visible what is usually invisible. Interesting, ano? very interesting. So, so uh, before I say my point no, or my question, before I ask my question, if you're, if you're finding this interesting, and I know you are finding this interesting, no, kasi ang dami na nagko-comment dito na very interesting, please, please hit the share button. And also, if you do have questions, uh, please ask Anne, okay? You can ask Anne by typing in your questions, no? Uh, Anne, you know, uh, very interesting. Ang ganda na sinasabi mo. And I'm learning a lot right now. Uh, I read this book also. I forgot the title. Uh, ah, okay. The title is How to Read a Book. I forgot the author. Pero si Kasi yung... Uh, no, think aloud, Jeff. Sorry? We need the Think Aloud strategy because you yes. forgot the title of the book. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. So, the title of the book is How to how to Read a Book. And, and the strategy there, parang the, uh, there are two things I remember. Uh, you, you write on the book. Okay, uh, you write on the book so you remember and uh, and uh, use your fingers uh, to guide, no? So parang yun yun na alala ko sa kanya and so far it has been very effective. Uh, before, I don't like the idea of writing sa libro, no? Parang feeling ko na sa school, uh, especially in the, the traditional setup, kailangan neat ka, kailangan yung libro mo, walang sulat. But then later on, I realized that uh, you really have to write on your your, your book no, na talagang sulatan mo siya, especially if you have good ideas. So, so um, a few years back, I, I learned to do it and I love doing it. No, um, so it's for me, it's easier for me to remember or for me to understand. But yes, tama. Parang I want to try that. Parang are, are, are you trying? Uh, parang are you suggesting that when when we read books, we uh, we're like talking to the book and talking to ourselves? Parang ganun ba siya? Yeah, like be one with a book, Jeff. Yeah. Tama ba yun, Anne? Is that correct? Parang, uh, you're, you're, um, yeah. In a way, yeah. no? Sige. So, uh, tingnan natin dito, ha? Um, Sorry. 
Yes, ah, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're a little bit chubby, but I, I wanted to comment on oh, your oh. what you're doing, no? So actually, writing on the book is actually interacting with okay. the book, de ba? Yes. You think of reading; it's like a one-way street. A book that gives you information, and then you accept it yes. by writing on the book or by writing your thoughts, your comments, your questions. You're actually interacting with the book, so it becomes a two-way process. So, mas nagiging yes. meaningful, de ba? It's yeah. always more meaningful yes. when it's interactive. So, even when you're doing lectures or webinars. Yes. Rather than just listening, when you have questions, it becomes more. Um, yes, yes. Re you retain more. So, so yeah. tama siya. I mean, I mean, in a way, it, it's one of the processes. Na, na, but it's not, of course. Well, it's not reading aloud, though. But uh, so tama naman siya. I mean, I mean, in terms of uh, a strategy in in understanding something. Ah, to. An may nagtatanong ha. Uh, ipaso ko lang to. May nagtatanong dito si Rosa. Asaldo, suitable po ba ito sa beginner such as kinder or grade one? Sige, and please, ano? Yes, definitely. Um, in uh, in kinder and grade one, ang isa sa mga one of the things that we really must include in our uh, teaching is read aloud time, di po ba? Uh, lahat po yata ng kinder at grade one classes meron silang time for reading storybooks to their students. And if you don't, you sh really should because reading aloud to your students is really one of the best ways for them to learn. Aside from other things, of course. But yun, through reading or while reading aloud to them, you inject, you inject some of these uh, think aloud uh, strategies already. Para bata pa lang, nasasanay na sila na, ay, I can do that pala. I can think aloud while I'm reading and I can take charge of my reading just like what teacher is doing. So yes, the short answer is yes. It's applicable for very young learners. Interesting, okay. no? Uh, yeah, yeah, Jeremy, you, you wanted to say something? Well, I just want to add to that question. Uh, since reading is not just limited to the subject of reading itself, right? Uh, how can I use this, for example, as a learner or maybe as a, a teacher or an instructor to guide students or even myself if I am taking, for example, science or math classes? How, how would the approach be different compared to, let's say, a reading subject? Um, that's a very good question. And um, I've actually been reading uh, about using think aloud in other subjects in subjects other than reading um and they've okay. done it in math classes they've done think alouds in math classes it's also it's very similar it's like if you're the math professor no you're walking your students through the process instead of just showing it to them so how did you arrive at this answer it's, you, you go through the process with them instead of just showing them the product which is one of the one of the, I guess, one of the shortcomings that we have. Naalala mo, Jeff, isipin mo, how did the teachers teach us reading when we were young? Naalala mo ba? Or even during high school, ano ang mga ginagawa ng mga teachers to help develop reading comprehension? Uh, well, pinapabasa tayo ng, uh, uh, pinapa, how do you call that? Pinapasilabicate sa atin, no? Uh, Pakonti-konti. And then, wala, you, uh, the, the goal back then was to be able to read but not really to understand. That's how I remember or how I feel now. No? Parang basta makapagbasa ka, uh, cat. Because of the picture, I understand that it's a cat. But for other words, hindi ko na siya alam dahil, you know, hindi na siya naging visual for me. So, nabasa lang, pinabasa lang sa'yo. Yan. So, yung, yung comprehension part ng reading, hindi siya parating nabibigyan pansin especially when we're Correct. doing beginning reading instruction, right? So the focus is really on sounding out the words, sounding out the letters. And then when we go to high school, maybe Jeremy, do you remember um, what you guys did in your English classes or even in your Filipino classes? Uh, English? Yeah, I don't in remember. English in your, in Ibong Adarna or Florante at Laura? Florante. Ah, well, voila. They just gave us the book, and then we read the book, and then we discussed afterwards uh, the story itself. But it was not, 
uh, segregated into uh, line by line or maybe per paragraph. It was just the whole idea of the the entry, let's say. Yeah. So I think even up to now, parang it's very typical for teachers to just assign readings to their students. Okay, basahin nyo to, bukas quiz tayo. Or basahin nyo to, discuss natin bukas. So agad-agad, from reading, papunta na agad sila sa product of reading, which is comprehension. Tinetest nyo na agad yung comprehension ng bata. O, oh, sino ang bida sa kwento? Uh, saan nangyari ang kwento? So, mga ganun yung mga comprehension questions that are asked after we read the story, di ba? But you don't process yes. the actual understanding or how did the students arrive at the answer. So, yun yung, that's how Think Alouds can help. And that's how Think Alouds can also help in other subjects. Kasi papakita mo sa kanila yung process. What process should you go through so that you can arrive at the correct answer? I see. Interesting, ano? Uh, ang galing, ano? So, kumbaga, hindi lang tayo nagbasa just to get facts. Parang ganun ang nangyayari. Uh, who, what, when, where. Yes, Pero hindi masyadong yes, yes. nilalalain man dun sa, sa why, no? So, mm -hmm. so, maganda, no? So, pasukan lang natin ang mga questions dito. Uh, uh, interested, Itong we think aloud. Ah, interested siya. Ito, maganda question ni, ni Miss uh, Get or Jet, no? Uh, good evening, Ma'am Ann. When, as a teacher, we stop reading a part of the material, then we ask questions to be answered before moving to the next sentence. Is that think aloud? Okay. So it depends on your um, objective for stopping and uh, asking a question. Because there are many um, reasons why teachers uh, ask questions. Can be to check for understanding, di ba? Parang naintindihan niyo ba yung binasa ko? Or it can be to call somebody's attention. Jeff, ano nga yung sinabi ko? <laughs> Parang ganun. Just to uh -oh. check whether the child is listening or not. Nakikinig so, or hindi. Oo. Uh -oh. So kung ganun yung object, uh, kung ganun yung uh, reason mo for um for asking a question, then that's not actually a think aloud uh, strategy. That's not actually applying the think aloud strategy. Applying the think aloud strategy is actually um parang planado to ah. You don't just go into the classroom and then uh, stop and think wherever you want. You actually have to plan uh, saan ba ako titigil? Which part of the paragraph or which part of the sentence should I stop and ask a question? Parang ganon. Kasi ang goal mo for doing the think aloud strategy is to model reading comprehension strategies. So pipili ka ng part na medyo mahirap intindihin. Tapos ipapakita mo sa kanila, paano ko inintindi itong part na to? Kasi this may be confusing. Parang ganon. Interesting. Ah. Na-curious no, tuloy ako, Anna, no? uh, this, this research, pa, paano siya nagsimula? I mean, sino ang, uh, uh, anong history behind Think Aloud as a, as a strategy? Uh, hindi ako well-versed into the parang research, pero as early as 1970s, 1980s, there's been research on uh, Think Aloud. And I think it stems from yung cognitive, uh, may parang iba't ibang perspective diba of thinking and learning siguro yes. yung part of parang learning that you are constructing meaning parang siguro mm -hmm. doon galing yung constructivist theory ba siguro doon oh. galing yung ano yung think aloud protocol na parang tinitingnan nila how do readers actually understand or how do they construct meaning when they are reading tapos yun nga it, um, it started as a research tool to help um, to help these uh, reading researchers understand the reading process and then it became a strategy for actually teaching uh, oh. comprehension okay here in the oh. philippines ganun na siya katagal ginagamit i mean as a strategy in our, our you know schools matagal tagal na rin ba siya um, i mean based on your recollection or actually kaya kaya feeling ko kaya uh, hindi siya masyadong ginagamit. Kaya napili ko siyang i... I wanted to talk about it more and to I wanted push, to... Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, how, how is our reading comprehension, our kids here? How do we compare to other uh, parts of the world when it comes to reading uh, comprehension? That's a, that's a good question. No? Re recently, I think just last year, they released the PISA results. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh -huh. a it's a it's an international assessment, no? Where a lot of countries um uh, participate in, so we rank tayo with other countries 
according to a standardized assessment. And um, I don't know kung nabalitaan nyo, pero the Philippines did not uh, do well in the PISA. But, um, but it was our first time to join and at least meron na tayong benchmark ngayon. Meron tayong way of knowing where are we and where can we move forward from here or how can we move forward from here. Interesting, no? Galing. Ganda. Buti na tanong mo yan, Jeremy, no? Okay. Babasa lang tayo dito, but before we read the comments and the questions, please hit the share button, no? Marami na nang share sa atin. Nakakatuwa naman. It means that people are, they find this very interesting. Alright, so meron tayong comment dito from Jessica Tang Og. The goal of reading is comprehension. Uh, I remember nung uh, elementary ako, very frustrated ako sa, ano, sa comprehension. Kasi meron kaming class for reading where we were taught how to read. We had a separate class for comprehension where we were asked to read and then questions were asked. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so hindi ko siya makonek. I couldn't connect. Pasado ko sa reading, pero pagdating ko sa comprehension, hindi ako makapasa-pasa. No? So, yun pala yung dapat na ginagawa. That, uh, parang feeling ko, hiniwalay pa yung reading sa comprehension. E di sana pinag-isa na lang talaga. So, the, mm -hmm. the whole, like one hour should be put on uh, kids learning to comprehend or understand the text or the story. And tama si Anne, no? Um, uh, na, na maganda yung process noon. Kasi I, I think if that would have been the process before, baka mas naging interesting. Um, kasi anong nangyari nga noon, papabasahin ka, and then tatanungin ka ng questions, meron pang multiple choice. Pag multiple choice, it's very tempting to just choose which one. <laughs> diba? uh, but anyway, so let's, let's, read at the, let's read some comments here. Uh, good evening, Sir Jeff and your company. Your discussion is very relevant and timely, uh, especially comprehension. Most of the students nowadays can read but very poor in comprehension. That's the sad reality. Tama, ano? So, and this is more of a uh, more of a practice, no? So, so uh, tell us what they will expect, the viewers. What can they expect from the demo? Uh, let me just read when the demo is hap going to happen. The demo, and and Choi, if you're liking this, we already sent emails, no? Kung kailan mangyayari yung demo, the four free demos, no? And uh, schedule will be on June 24. Uh, that's 2 p.m., okay? So Anne's going to have a 30-minute demo. June 4 or June 4th? Jeff, it says here. June 4, sorry. June 4 or June 4 is the demo. June 20 is the actual class. Oh, okay. Yeah. He added 24. Yeah. Nang pagsama ko yung 20 and 4, no? Yun, nako. Bagsak ako sa reading. All right. So the demo class is going to be on June 4, 2 p.m. All right, so we already sent out the the link for that, you know? It's a it's a private link. Uh, selected people will only be able to join that. Only those who signed up. Pero what's what's great is that a thousand people, more than a thousand people signed up. So more than a thousand people received uh, the the link, no? Uh, just just check your spam uh, spam email spam. Or your inbox, no. And for Anne Choice uh, talk on on the same topic, which is uh, uh, using Think Alouds uh, to develop reading comprehension, it's going to be on June twenty. That's uh, uh, from two p.m. to one thirty p.m. Now, if you want to get that at a very good rate, you may uh, do so by going to our website kaihusay.com and putting this code and S E B and Seb A N N S E B. All right. So if you uh, again, also if you're finding this interesting, this topic interesting, please do share the hit bot, uh, click the hit button, or start a watch party. Yeah. So, uh, mamaya, meron tayo mga guests na magtatanong. Okay. Uh, you, you, uh, those watching us, you may also ask questions. Okay. Uh, I have a question here, Anne. So, uh, can you give us some tips, especially right now during the uh, pandemic, no? In the new reality that most students will be learning uh, using their gadgets. As a, as a UP Open facilitator, uh, what are the different strategies that 
you know, um, or tips that you can give uh, para naman feeling ng teacher eh, or, or para maging effective yung delivery ng uh, lessons? I think uh, one of the keys for distance learning, no, we call it distance learning because you and your students are not in the same place, di ba? Correct. Um, yeah. One of the keys for distance learning is to shorten the distance between the teacher and the student. Uh, and I know that that's not possible physically, di ba? So how oh. do you shorten the, how do you actually shorten the distance in other ways? So one of the things that, parang hard to replicate when you're doing face-to-face -face compared to like online learning is yung immediate mm -hmm. feedback. You know, when we're in a class and we lecture uh -huh. and then we see somebody parang yung eyebrows niya nag-meet, ganyan, diba? Tapos um, parang kikita mo sa mukha niya na hindi niya naiintindihan. Agad-agad, you, uh, you adjust your lecture or your topic to be able to get your point across, diba? Yan ang problema sa distance learning kasi hindi mo nakikita yung ano yung reaction ng okay. student ng estudyante mo pag nag pag nag lecture ka parang ganyan. So um, okay. you should be able to find find tools to help you bridge that gap. So you can ask them, yan ganito. Pwede kung may questions kayo, feel free to hit the chat box ganyan. This is when you're doing ano a live uh, seminars. Feel free to hit the chat box or show me a reaction by Diba sa Zoom, meron sila mga parang signals for the speaker uh, na am I speaking yeah. too fast? Yeah, may ganun, diba? Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, too fast, go slower. May ganun ba? Kasi uh, meron, ako, uh, you, can, you can use that. Halimbawa, <laughs> thumbs up is uh, doing okay. Or meron doon kasing clap na pagka nag-clap, it could be fast, no? So you can create your own uh, meaning to those uh, yes. emote um, To those icons, icons that are available. Yeah. Yes. yes. So yun. Um, tapos... Immediate feedback also in terms of assessment, pwede rin. Kasi parang um, after asking them to read read something, read a reading material, um, mm -hmm. pwede ka nang magbigay ng short quiz agad na alam mo yun, yung automated na yung responses para uh -huh. may immediate feedback na agad si student na I got three out of five. Which part should I reread? Which part pala I didn't get? Parang ganyan. So, mga ganong simple, um, simple tasks, I guess, we can incorporate that when we're doing online learning. Um, ano pa ba yung... Isa, yung, yung iniisi ko, isa sa mga powerful learning experiences also would be collaborating with classmates, di ba? Yes, when you do uh, projects, you learn a lot when you're um, working with other people. Yun yung medyo mahirap i-replicate uh, sa distance learning kasi lalo if they are... Um, if it's asynchronous, di ba? Kasi meron mga, may mga courses tayo, like kami sa UPOU, uh, it's mostly asynchronous. Wala akong live sessions eh. So parang the students study at their own pace. So, iplaplanuhin mo ng mabuti ang mga ganitong group projects so that your students will be able to um, still have time to work with them, work with their classmates and learn from their classmates instead of yung just learning from the modules or learning from you. So, oh, yun, yun yung mga parang things that I think uh, you ha you can build in or uh, try to build into your courses or your online courses. I see. I'm uh, curious lang ako, no? hindi ko pa na experience ang UP Open U. Uh, meron, meron bang videos doon? I mean, or are those are like reading materials? Pa Paano ba siya? Okay. So, depende sa teacher. So, kunwari ako, I have my own course site, no? So, I upload different materials there. May reading materials doon. May study guides to help you as you go through your reading. So, hindi lang siya, basahin nyo to. Meron silang activities na ginagawa after, after the readings so that you can process their understanding. So, merong discussion boards. May, you can also upload videos. You can also... Um, put in quizzes or short assessments, no? So all of these things, you can build into your course page. Ang mm -hmm. mahalaga talaga, I think, is um, especially when you're doing self-paced or uh, self-paced yeah. learning, yung bahala sila sa schedule nila. You have to yeah. have a clear um, study schedule. Parang week one, ito ang topic natin. Bahala ka kahit anong araw mo o kahit anong oras mong aralin ito, basta ito yung coverage natin for week one. Di ba may ganun? May, may, meron kang set time. Like, tapos may allowance. Kasi 
lahalos lahat ng mga nag enroll sa mga online universities, di ba? They're very busy with work. Kaya nga sila online yes. kasi they couldn't really go to school. So Correct. yung may grace dapat, may adjustment, um, may trans, anong tawag doon? May grace period ba? For ah, inevitable delays. Ganyan. Built in na rin dapat yun. You have to be understanding of your uh, students' situations. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, kwento ko yeah. lang, no, Jeff. Yeah, go ahead, um, one time, uh, nagpa, nagpa take home quiz ako sa 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 ano sa UPOU. Tapos, uh, take home siya in the sense na you have 24 hours to answer and then submit it back to me. But, Ang sabi ko, malinaw na nakalagay doon, every minute na delayed, may minus one point ka. Kasi 24 hours na eh. Open notes oh. na siya, 24 hours na siya. Oh. So parang feeling ko, tam, enough na yun, di ba? Oh. Katakot ka, ha? Oh, actually, <laughs> pero, pero you are given that uh, yeah. warning parang two weeks in advance. Na parang ah, okay. ihanda mo na yung, ano mo, yes. ihanda mo na yung yeah. aralin mo, ihanda mo na yung materials mo, ganyan, di ba? Tapos, on that day itself, Dahil nasa Pilipinas tayo, grabe yung ano, <laughs> ang dami kong text message. Ma'am, hindi ko ma-upload. Ma'am, kailangan ko pa pumunta sa internet kape kasi naputol yung ano ko, naputol yung internet namin sa bahay. Ma'am, nag-brown out kami, may bagyo yung mga ganyan. So, ang dami talagang ano, ang dami talagang nangyayari dito sa Pilipinas that you really have to consider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Oo, oh, I agree, I agree. Um, grabe, oh, ano? Yes, so, so, ano, no? Ta- na- grabe naman yun. Ang daming mga pangyayari. But yes, it happens. Even to us in uh, the university level, ganun din ang nangyayari, ano? Uh, ang daming sa aming pa- pa-move naman, pa-extend. But anyway, it has been said already weeks ago. So, Anne, what are we to expect from your demo and from your uh, class? No? Hindi namin, na- hindi yata nasagot yan na, na-, na-, na- naputol kanina. So, uh, what can we expect from the demo uh, program and what can we expect or what can can uh, learners expect no na makukuha nila during your uh, program yeah so i think during the demo we can share um we can share unang una the definition of reading and reading comprehension so ano nga ba talaga what what does this mean when we say uh we are understanding something and then i'll also okay. share what research says about what how good readers read uh-huh. and how different it is from uh-huh. poor readers Parang ganon. So, malinaw na dapat naiintindihan natin ano-ano mga skills ng, na meron ang good readers. Kailangan we have that list of ano, so that we can get um, we can get what we need to teach from there. I see. So, right. yun, yung, yun, yun yung isasama ko sa demo. And then during the actual um, what do you call that? The actual thing, the actual mm-hmm. talk, um, yes. doon na tayo mag, mag-demonstrate or magmamodel ng actual think aloud. So, paano ba ginagawa yung think aloud? I'll walk you through the process. Um, ano yung mga different steps that you need to take before actually doing a think aloud in your class? Mm, I see. Uh, and ito ba e pang reading teachers lang or pwede kahit anong subjects ito? Um, my, kasi ako, dahil reading teacher ako, I personally think that reading is important for all subjects, across all subjects, even in math. Um, kasi in math, you have word problems. Pag poor yung comprehension mo, mali na yung sagot mo. Kahit na naiintindihan mo, maruno kang mag-plus, maruno kang mag-subtract. Pero pag hindi mo naiintindihan what actual what the actual operation you need to do, kung plus ba siya, or subtract ba siya, or multiply ba siya, or divide, dahil mali yung pagkakaintindi mo sa problem, then, ano rin, ma- maapektuhan din yung math um, grades mo, kumbaga. So, reading is a gateway for all the other subjects. So, I think, that this uh, strategy or this uh, talk will be useful for all kinds of teachers. But I will be um, demonstrating how it's used in a literacy class or in a reading class. Kung baga, mm. siguro, about, siguro isip na lang, kailangan si teacher na nakikinig, mag- given the steps, no? Ma- mm. maiisip niya how to apply this in his or her subject area. I see. Uh, how about for ano for homeschooling parents? Uh, ma, how will this help? Uh, how will this technology help them? Lalo na yung mga mag uh, homeschool pa lang ngayon, no? Uh, sa year na to, no? May makukuha ba silang tips dyan? 
Oh, kasi nga um, like 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 we mentioned, parang it's something that we don't usually teach. Um, ang normal na pinapagawa even when we're homeschooling. Basahin mo yan, sagutin mo yung tanong. Parang ganun. But yes. what do you do when your student doesn't understand? So you have to be able to parang as a teacher, you have to be able to say ito yung skill, ito yung comprehension skill na hindi niya maintindihan. Alin halimbawa, hindi siya marunong mag-infer. Hindi siya marunong kumuha ng clues doon sa binabasa niya to be able to understand what he or she is reading. So, ito ang pwede kong gawin para matulungan niya. So, yun. By, by understanding the reading process or the reading comprehension process as well as the different reading comprehension strategies, you should be able to uh, troubleshoot when you see that your student or your child is not understanding. That's what I hope, no? Inter yeah, interesting. Galing. So, how about... Yeah, uh, yes, Jeremy, you, you're, you want to say something? No, no, uh, yeah. Galeng, galeng. Because, yeah, reading really is, uh, it's a gateway for everything, right? Your understanding of the world. If you can't read, you can't understand what, what's going on around you, di ba? So, very yeah. important. Yeah. Okay. Meron, meron pumasok dito sa atin, ano? May, may magtatanong lang. Uh, sandali, ah. Excuse me. Yeah. Papa, yeah. Okay. Uh, si, uh, <clears throat> papasok lang sa atin ngayon to ask a question. Uh, let's try to uh, Derek. Uh, Derek, uh, wait, unmute ko lang si Derek. Hello, Derek. Meron pumasok dito sa akin. Yeah. Ah, Derek, paki. Yeah. lang, Derek, please. Yung, uh, yung, uh, 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 what do you call this? A cell phone or computer? Can you lower the volume para walang feedback, Derek? Yeah. Volume. Uh, please, para wala okay. Yan. okay. Si Sir Derek, uh, I think has a question for uh, Miss Ann, no? Ano yung yes, question? Good. Good, evening, good evening, Good evening, good evening sa iyo, oh. Ah, may, may feedback ano? Meron yatang naka on na volume, baka pwedeng paki ano lang, paki off lang please yung uh, yung volume. Para hindi tayo mag feedback. Yan. <laughs> All right. So my question si Derek and uh, about uh, this uh, reading comprehension. Okay yes, po. go ahead, Derek. Yes, okay na. Wala. Yeah, you can ask your question. Yeah, you can ask your question, oh, okay. Derek. Naririnig ba? <laughs> Yeah, can you hear me? Speaker, we... Yeah, we can hear you, Derek. Yes. Oh, habang inintay natin si Derek, uh, basahin muna natin to from Yem. Absolutely, Miss Choi, reading skill can never be underestimated for it. Uh, serve as the main highway to pass through before reaching different directions. Wow. Okay, yeah, Miss Castaneda. Derek, uh, are you ready now? Yes po, may tanong lang po. Sige, go ahead, Derek. Um, since most of the children or learners right now are fond of using gadgets, so how do you think these digital resources can be included in classroom to enhance their vocabulary reading and at the same time their reading comprehension? Po. So digital oh, yeah. resources? Yes po. I think um, whether they're reading print or reading something uh, digital, the same comprehension strategies apply. Di po ba? Um, pareho lang naman po yung processes na ginagamit natin, whether we're reading something on paper or we're reading something on the screen. Except we get more distracted when we're reading on screen. Kasi uh, pag pindot mo minsan, may hyperlink na. Or, pag, or even when you're reading e-books, Meron, meron certain functions like when you click on a word, may lalabas na agad na dictionary, parang ganun. So actually, may, may use ang uh, digital devices or digital books, parang ganun. Um, pero uh, it doesn't replace the reading teacher as the, as, the, as the parang source or parang, as the parang facilitator of comprehension. Kumbaga, pareho kayo, 
whether reading from a print or reading from a device, it's uh, the content can be the same, but how the how the reader understands it, dun pa pasik si teacher. Am I making sense? Yes, po. I am. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Maraming salamat sa yon, Derek. Uh, thanks for visiting us. No, Thank ito you, yung malala dito sa technology. Eh. Derek, where are you from? From Santa Rosa, Laguna, po. Wow, all the way. Magka, magkalayo, magkalayo. Anne is in uh, Visayas right now. Tama ba, Anne? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Derek is there in uh, Santa Rosa. So, uh, Derek, maraming salamat sa iyong pagtanong. Sana nasagot namin, ha? Thank you, Thank po. you very much. Okay. Uh, meron pa tayong isang, ano, meron pa tayong isang uh, uh, guest, ano, uh, na magtatanong. Si Miss Maiden. Pasok lang natin si Miss Maiden. Miss Maiden, hello. <laughs> Ayan, Miss Maiden. Hindi, hindi pa yata tayo nakikita ni Miss Maiden. Ayan. Hi, Miss Maiden. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Uh, your question for Miss Anne? Um, I'm from One Juice Works Speed Learning Center po. From Santa Rosa, Laguna. Um, we are a pri private school po kami. And um, Yung online enrollment po namin is ongoing na. Since online class practice na po tayo, what are the things that you can recommend to us to ensure the quality learning of the students? S sorry, come again, medyo choppy. Sorry, what's the question again? Sabi niya, since online, online learning. Ah, okay, learning. Right? Okay. So, what uh, recommendation? Oh, ensure quality. Oh, yan, yan, yan. Okay. Quality. Sige. Sige. Okay. Um, recently, no, my, um, I worked with a group um, and we released uh, parang guidelines or parang something like reflective questions to help teachers um, consider or help teachers think about their situation, this pandemic, no? Um, kasi nga, lahat tayo biglang shift to uh, remote learning. And one of, uh, two of the guiding principles that we parang put out there was number one, do no harm. Uh, ibig sabihin nun, stressful na po ang situation dahil uh, posibleng magkasakit or marami nagkakasakit, di po ba? Um, wag na po natin dagdagan yung stress ng mga bata at stress ng mga magulang. So unang-unang consideration ninyo, do no harm, uh, think about their situation, and then pangalawa po, be realistic in terms of what you can accomplish. Kasi mara I'm sure marami tayong magagawa or ginagawa sa class na hindi na possible, or marami tayong tinuturo sa class na face-to-face -face na hindi na possible in, when we're doing remote or online learning. So you really have to consider, ano ba talaga yung pinaka-essential? Ano ba talaga yung priority ko? Ito yung tututukan ko ng pansin. Hindi, di bali na yung mga non-essential. So yun yung mga parang kailangan natin mag-isipan. Yung sitwasyon ng magulang, sitwasyon na pala ng pamilya. Alimbawa, wala silang gadget. Huwag niyo na po silang pinutin na maghanap ng gadget. So maghanap tayo ng, tayo bilang teacher, maghanap tayo ng ibang paraan para matulungan or ma matuto sila. Parang ganun, I guess. Uh, Kung baga, like, like yung kineto ko kanina about setting deadlines, uh, since we know nga that our internet connection here in the Philippines is not reliable, yun may ganyang leeway ka dapat or may ganyang grace ka dapat, uh, lalo nang sa sitwasyon ngayon. I see. All right. Thank you. Uh, Maiden, nasagot ba ang iyong katanungan? Wow, great. So maraming salamat for dropping by, uh, Miss Maiden. No? Thank you. So, yan, Anne, mara, very nice. Ano? Meron pang comment dito. Sana nasagot namin yung mga questions niyo. Um, we have one from uh, a comment from Yem. Uh, it is in the delivery of its content that matters. Must be comprehensible at all. Uh, yes, I agree. Um, gusto ko yung point na sinabi ni Anna, no? And uh, yeah, we, we focus, we uh, we understand the situation of the family as well as uh, really uh, just going for the essentials. Uh, I think may guidelines na naman ng DepEd doon, eh, no? Kung ano lang talaga essentials, like... Uh, uh, reading, math, and uh, science, something like that, eh, no? Uh, hindi ko pa siya na uh, maalala lahat, eh. Ang alam ko po, naglabas sila ng MELCs, tinatawag nilang MELCs, Minimum Essential Learning Competencies. So, oh. eh, parang I think they parang 
ang pagkakaintindi ko po no kasi I haven't really looked at the document um yung parang pinaka essential okay. na kailangan matutunan from the curriculum they parang put it together in a document mm. so yun yung para magiging focus kumbaga binawasan and then maraming marami rin pong mga skills na pwedeng matutunan sa bahay na mas mahirap matutunan sa school halimbawa yung mga okay. home economics uh, subjects di po ba so like cooking um, gardening ito yung mga mahirap ituro sa school eh. so sana teachers or um, actually parents can um, use this time to you know uh, teach these skills that are not being focused on or that are harder to teach in school ah. Agree. Uh, actually, ako nga, pinag-uusapan namin ni Ingrid, nung wife ko, sabi ko sana mas, mas importante ngayon na pandemic yung uh, mga home economics eh. Kasi these are very practical lessons eh. So sana nga, may, uh, even, even PE, kasi ang hirap na lumabas eh, hindi ka makalabas eh. So even at home, no? Uh, but anyway, uh, we have another uh, question, ano, per, uh, guess, no, to ask a question uh, kay Miss Ann. Okay. Ine Hi, Donna. Good evening. Good evening po. Magandang gabi po. Yes. Good evening oh, po, from Juan Drews. Hi, good evening. Yes. Medyo na wala, kang, wala kami marinig. Uh, what's your question, Donna? Okay. Um, hello again po. Good evening po. I'm from Juan Drews po and I'm a, pres I'm a preschool teacher po. So this is my question. So how... Ay, walang marinig. Sige, go ahead, so, go ahead, go ahead. How do you over... Go ahead, go ahead. How do you overcome reading comprehension difficulties considering the readiness and the different level of thinking of the child? Mm, okay, interesting question, oh. ha? Yes. That's a very good question. Kasi kahit nasabihin mong lahat ng... Kla ikaw po, preschool, no? So you have a Apo. class of, say, three or four-year-olds, di po ba? Tama? Or five-year-old po? Anong, ano ninyo? Anong Five handle ninyo? Five-year-old. So kahit na pare-pareho po sila, kahit na pare-pareho po sila ng edad, iba-iba po sila ng uh, kakayahan, iba-iba sila ng pag-iintindi, di po ba? Depende yan sa pamilya nila, sa environment nila, sa background nila. So, may fans po kayo. <laughs> May fans ka dyan. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, yun, it's really important that you take into consideration the context, no? At kasama sa context doon, yung studyante ninyo, ano ba yung alam nila, parang ganyan, sa ano yung kulang, parang ganun, para ma, ma, you are able to bridge the gap between what the, what the text is trying to say as well as what your student knows. Yung comprehension is the, is the bridge between the reader and the text eh. So, ikaw as a teacher, ikaw po yung magbe-bridge noon. Ano yung alam ng estudyante mo? How are you going to bring her or him to this level para maintindihan niya yung text? Kumakaway yung anak ko from the window. So. <laughs> well, yan, okay, very nice. So, na nasagot naman ano Donna, yung yung ano, Opa, uh, question. Opa, thank you po. Okay. Maraming salamat Donna sa pagtanong. So tama maganda yung question ni Donna, no? Um, tama no? Kasi ang bata nga naman iba-ibang kanilang uh, level of competency, you know? So yeah, uh, pero very challenging yan for teachers with like for example, uh, 40 kids, right? Uh, inside. So medyo challenging yan. So yung yung uh, pag uh, pag planning nila diyan eh medyo talagang matindi-tindi, no? Uh, eto babasa lang tayo ng ano ha, ng mga comments. Uh, Huh? Ito. It is in, ah, nabasa na pala natin yan. Teacher's creativity in the new normal must be enhanced. I agree. No? Yeah. Meaning to say, talagang lahat ng skills talaga, i-develop nyo talaga yung inyong mga skills. Um, and I think this is also the best time to retool yourself, to sharpen the saw. Uh, mas, 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 yeah. mas, uh, ako may principle ako dyan. I'd like, I'd like to share this to everyone, no? I've been in the school business for uh, for 19 years. And napapansin namin, tuwing may crisis, doon maraming taong nag enroll uh, Because that is the time they uh, they equip themselves. no? So, which is totoo namang magandang nangyari sa kanila. Because nagre-retool sila, mas uh, nagiging, uh, what do you call this, 
parang uh, they're protected from uh, from the crisis, no? Uh, naging protected sila. So, yon, no? Uh, good evening from uh, Isabella. Yes, nako. Uh, it was a very fruitful conversation. Uh, and maraming salamat for ano, uh, for uh, uh, for uh, allowing this interview, no, uh, to happen, no? Uh, with with uh, si Ann kasi nag-aano yan, nag-homeschool yan. She's still uh, helping in DepEd, tama ba? You're still ano, helping them, no? Hindi na, hindi na. Um, hindi na ako sa within DepEd, but I'm working on some projects with them. Yeah, so parang you're still in touch with them for some projects, no? So, yon. So, um ulitin ko lang yung kay Anna, no? Yung schedule ni Ann sa lahat ng nakikinig. Uh, ang schedule ni Ann, we have a demo class which will happen uh, this, uh, let me just check the schedule again, ano? Para sure tayo. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> June 4, okay, 2 p.m. Uh, meron tayong demo class na napadala na yung link sa inyo. Okay. Uh, make sure you watch it. I know you find this very interesting. And yung uh, talk ni Ann, the one hour and a half talk, uh, it's going to be on June 20, 2 p.m. If you want to catch the early bird rate naman, okay, uh, we have a discount of 200 pesos uh, until May 30. I think you can get it only for 450. May mga nag-check out na. We're just waiting for them to uh, to pay, you know. So um, it's until May 30. So uh, grab the opportunity. Ito yung code niya, A-N-N-S-E-B. So and SEB, okay? A-N-N-S-E-B. You, you can use that, that code to... Uh, to when, when you check out in the uh, checkout box, box no? Uh, may nagtatanong, Sir Jeff, can I pay through GCash or PayMaya to avail of Miss Ann's demo lesson? Ah, uh, yeah, the demo lesson is for free, okay? Uh, we can give you the link. Just PM us, Miss Yem. Uh, PM us, I'll, I'll, we will send you the link, okay? Uh, but if you're asking for the paid class, yes, you can pay through GCash. We will get in touch with you. Uh, do send us a do send us a PM, okay? So we can send you, or we'll try to uh, look for you in uh, Facebook. I will write down. I I will write write down your name now, no? Baka makalimutan pa namin, no? All right. So, uh, meron pang bumabate sa yo, and uh, thank you. Nagpapasalamat. Thank you from Wondrous Teachers. God bless. All right. So, and thank you very much, no? Uh, maraming salamat. Ang dami kong natutunan. So, ngayon I will. Yep, thank yes, you. Oh, oh. And, and 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 I'm glad no na you you were able to share this. Actually, ngayon lang kami nagkausap ni Ann ng ganito katagal-tagal after we uh after we yeah, graduated. Oh, oh, na ganun na katagal and now I'm, I'm learning so much about uh what she's doing and it's very interesting and it's very noble. And uh yo, no? If we want to have an intelligent population we really start doing it by uh, teaching them really how to read no oh may pahabol pang question dito uh, oh. do you think that for smaller kids like grade 4 and below would it be better for them to read hard copies print out than from laptop ipad would that have the same effect or impact uh, yes and parang ganun yung question kanina but yes baka para masagot mo ako my personal opinion is really um print print materials are better. Kasi ang daming distractions sa iPad, magkamali ka lang ng pindot, you can be led to another page. Lalo na for really young kids, no? Um, yung ganun. Yung, I think yung distractibility part, yun yung medyo mahirap. Yes. But yeah, I yeah. also understand that uh, tablets are very handy. You can, yung yung parang stack of 10 books mo, kasha sa isang tablet, di ba? Yes. So yun yung, yun din naman yung advantage niya, parang ganun. Tama, but for... Agree. Comprehension in terms of yung research, may um may nagsasabi na no effect ng screen, may nagsasabi na um mas ano talaga mas effective pa rin pagka print parang ganon. So hindi ay hindi ko alam hindi pa conclusive kung baga. Yes, uh, uh, ako I normally uh, use um uh, gadgets no especially yung uh, pag nagre research ako on topics. Kasi with gadgets I can actually highlight. Uh, and then just transfer it para at least nandun lahat ng notes ko, no? But sometimes, there are also times I feel na, you know, it's nice to write things down. So, so pero I, I, I agree most dun sa sinabi ni Anna yung distractability issue. Kasi isang click lang dyan, nasa Facebook ka na, 
Uh, isa click lang dyan na sa Instagram ka na or, or email ka. Or minsan may pop-up, di ba? Exactly, no? Minsan may pop-up. Madidistract ka, mawawala ka. No? So, yun. And thank you very much for your time. No? <laughs> yes, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, yes, oh. Oh. Tapos, yeah. uh, after this, si Anne, I will invite her to a page no, na nandun lahat noong uh, na-interview na namin. Uh, parang madami, pero kukunti pa lang yun. So, <laughs> we're trying to build on, on that. No? Para next time, magkakaroon tayo ng isang maraming uh, session dito. So, yun. Thank you very much for watching. Next week, uh, this Sunday naman, oh, sorry, uh, Sunday, yes, Sunday, we have someone who teaches Singapore math. Yan. Alright. So, interesting topic diyan. No? And uh, we will relate that, uh, how to teach Singapore math in, you know, the digital setting. Alright? So, anyway, maraming salamat and thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining us. Okay? Thank I will you. send you a, a message of... Yes, I'll send you a message of gratitude after this one. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Anne. Uh, okay. So, Jeremy, uh, we learned a lot. We uh, Umaba tayo dahil napakasarap ng kwentuhan natin, ano? Yeah, so, anong... Well, I learned a lot, no? Yung strategy ng reading aloud. Akala ko lang, babasahin mo ng malakas. Yun pala, you have to parang be in conversation with the book and with yourself, no? To interact. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Now, I remember back in high school, we can't write in our books. It was uh -huh. rented. It was rented out to us, so some of our books you can't write on them. Sayang, ano, uh, but anyway. Yun nga, yun nga eh, kasi, but anyway, sige, yun, oh, we will see everyone on Sunday, and uh, all right, so bye-bye to everyone, all right? Bye-bye, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs>